So this is GoCode. In this video, we gonna see how to approach the Code Chef January long challenge problem, Chef and Modulo game. In this problem, there are three players. Each can choose an integer from one to p inclusively, and the Chef score is this equation. And Chef want to obtain the maximum score. Let denote the score by m. Now the task is to find the number of ways we can choose the triplet i, j, and k, which is chosen by Chef and his two friends, so that the score will become equal to m. So let's solve the problem. The maximum possible value that can be achieved is the maximum value that can achieve by taking only one time modulo of n, because as we take modulo more and more the number will never increase but it can decrease or remain same so the maximum possible value is the maximum value that can be achieved by taking modulo of n only one time let m be the maximum possible score that can be achieved since we want to take the modulus of n by only one number so there are three cases when taking a modulo of number n by i now we want that m must not affected by any of j and k to do so we have to take the value of j and k which are greater than m so in case when the possible value that can be chosen for i is 1 because i is the only number which gives the maximum answer in this case so there is only one number exists the possible values of j that can be chosen are the values which are greater than m since there are total p values so the values which are greater than m is p minus m and for k also we can choose a number from p minus m numbers now the case 2 in this case we want our answer from n mod j to do so i must be greater than n so that i does not affect the value of n so the possible values that can be chosen for i are the values which are greater than n that is p minus n and the values that can be chosen for j is 1 because this time j gives the answer and the value of k are the values which are greater than m because we does because we do not want to affect our maximum score so the values of k are p minus m now in case 3 we want our answer from k that is we want m from n modulo k to achieve this we want that our n does not affect by i and does not affect by j so the value of i and j must be greater than n so the values which can be chosen for i and j are p minus n and p minus n and the value that can be chosen for k is 1 because this time j is give the answer so these are three possible ways by which we can achieve our maximum possible score so the total number of ways is equal 1 multiply p minus m into p minus m this is case 1 multiply p minus n cross 1 cross p minus m this is case 2 and p minus n cross p minus n cross 1 this is case 3 so these are the total number of ways by which we can achieve the maximum possible score now our task is what is the value of m that is the maximum possible score the maximum possible score is the floor of n minus 1 by 2 there is a edge case in this problem it is when n is less than or equal to 2 in this case the maximum possible score is 0 so our answer does not depend on any of i j and k because in last n will mod by n so our answer will in the end become zero so any value of i j and k can be taken so the maximum possible ways in this case is p into p into p so this is how we can solve this problem the implementation part is given in the description so we will meet in next video